Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope For Today. Happy Monday. We have a drill here, and you know how we roll on Monday mornings. Come on, church. Get up out your bed, bend the knees, and let's thank God for another day. We're going to act like a thing is so, even though it ain't so, in order that it might be so, because God said so. Let's go straight to God's word this Monday morning. I'm in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, where Paul writes, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. How's your mind today? You know, I've learned in my life, and maybe I am learning ever so increasingly, uh, that negative thoughts will never lead to positive results. Did you hear that all for today? Negative thoughts will never lead to positive results. And of course, now you're thinking, but Ricky, what am I supposed to do? And so far that my mind is full of negative thoughts and I'm right there with you. You know, behavioral psychologists tell us uh, that the person's voice that we listen to more than any other voice in our world is our own voice. In other words, I believe more about what I'm saying to myself than I believe any other voice and what that voice is saying to me. And psychologists tell us that the issue with you believing your voice more than any other voice is that 90% of our own self-talk is negative. But negative thoughts never lead to positive results. Thank God for Jesus Christ, who helps us to wage war with negative, ungodly, unfruitful thoughts and to replace them with who God is and what God has to say about us. This is what Paul says, don't be conformed to the ways of the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Uh, Kung Fu Panda helps us with this. The panda said, there's a line that says, before battle of fist, must come battle of mind. Did you hear that? Before anything you do and wrestle with with your hands, there has to be the work that is done in our thought life as well. It's Monday, it's a brand new day. But what does it mean for you to just stop, take a deep breath and ask the Holy Spirit to invade your mind, to replace negative thoughts with biblical thoughts, to replace depressing and anxious thoughts with affirming and, and God loving thoughts so that you can know that your week is going to lead to positive results because God and the gospel have become your positive mind. Let's wage war with our thought life so our thought life can yield to fruitful results. Happy Monday. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.